This floodlight trailer may have just become one of the most versatile mods in the game. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We got new mods for you today. We got the Lizard Truck 470. It's finally here. We've got the Fent 300 Vario series. Again, like you saw in the intro, we have the floodlight mod that is very, very cool. We got a new tether. We got a little basket and we've got an update for a PC trailer. Let's check it out. First, let's take a look at the Lizard Truck 470. So this is a transport truck getting things from point A to point B. And it's got a couple very interesting quirks and little things here there. It is really awesome. Let's check it out in the store first. What you're going to do is you're going to go to vehicles, going to go to trucks, and it's going to be right here the 470 you've got two different options for setup you've got a forestry option and an excavator option now the excavator option may be what you want to go with if you're moving anything other than a forestry machine also you could change the main color on this literally whatever you would like you can change the color on it if you like a yellow go with a yellow if you like a tan go with the tan if you like pink go with pink it's all good it's not that expensive either, $150,000 for the base model. Very, very good. So there is one thing that this does that is very cool. And I expected this to unfold on its own, but it doesn't. It lowers by itself. So you could take this, it kind of hocks the back end up, up a little bit, but you can use that to get other vehicles and stuff up there. There will be some things that just won't go up there, such as trucks or sting, things like that. There's just not enough clearance but other things such as tractors and the excavators like it says that will all work just fine now there is another option at the front check this out that's right there are tension belts at the front so if you've got something that you want to hold down those tension belts will hold it down that is so cool really neat an awesome touch boom right there the Lizard Truck 470. Next up, we've got a Fin 300 mod. So this is basically the version we have in game, but with a whole lot more options. So let's check it out. You're gonna go into small tractors, bump over till you get to the Fin mods. Boom, right here, $78,000. There is one thing that I'm kind of thrown off a little bit with about this, the design color. I have no idea what the design color changes. I can't see for the life of me anything that changes nowhere on the entire tractor. So just keep that in mind. Your design color probably won't matter. So we're gonna change that to a black because that's gonna match anything. Main color, we have the exact same colors in here. And a new red, that's really cool. Orange, of course, black. You can go with a fit dark green. Fin Petrol, which we will be going with. And then you've got your Fin Green and your Classic Green. So we're going to go with the Petrol because you guys know I love that. Rim color, we've got the Fin Red. we got a Fin Beige, Fin White, a Gray, Orange, and Black. We're going to go with Black on this build right here. Wheel Brand, we've got a couple different ones. Trailer Borgs, Nokians, Michelins, and Midas. In Trailer Borgs, we've got Standards, Wide Tires, Narrow Tires, Wheel Weights, wides with weights rear narrow twins and rear twins back to standard in nokian you get just that just a nokian however there's some pretty wide tires on there moving over to michelin tires you have your standards your wide tires wheel weights and wide tires with weights so only a few options in michelin and in midas these are known for being huge tires we have a standard and wide tire wheel weights, wide tires with weights, and back to standards again. So again, same options as the Michelin tires, but I will say those things are huge. <laughs> Keep it by, this is a 300 series. This is a small tractor. Well, small-ish, more or less. Design, we've got default and beacon light at the top. And for engine size, we have a 310 Vario, 311, 312, 313, so we go all the way up to 142 horsepower. Now, I think this is where the design color goes into effect. 
Front loader, we have the Allo console and the Stole console, and I'm guessing that is the design color. If we change this to red, yep, that is your design color at the front. So if you want to have a black, go for it. If you want this to be green, that can happen. Actually, it doesn't look awful. Doesn't look good, but doesn't look awful. Fully decked out, this thing's going to cost you about $93,000, all the way up from seventy-eight. dollars so it can get pricey. On the right, I have the build that we just did. On the left, we've got the base standard Fent 310. Also a feature of the Fent 300 series is we can do a couple things about opening things. So we'll hit right, you can see at the top, that little hatch is opening at the top. And we've also got the back window. Back window opens as well. Not only opens, but it opens really far. So if you guys are doing stuff, you can open that window up and really take a look out into the world. That is cool, I like that. Kinda help you back up a little bit easier. Other than that, the door does not open, at least that I've been able to get to make work, and uh, nothing else opens or closes as well. Just the top and just the back. So this is a great looking tractor. If you guys have not used these mods, these fit models, they're phenomenal. You should give them a try. On to my favorite mod from today. This is the Floodlight Trailer and it is awesome. First, let's take a look at it in the store. You're gonna go over to tools and then go to miscellaneous all the way to the right. You're gonna find it in here, right there. The Floodlight Trailer, $8,700. This is cool because there's a lot of customization. And I say a lot, there's only a couple different options, but these are huge. Main color, you can change this to whatever you like. So if you got a John Deere farm, go with a green. If you got a Challenger farm, go with that yellow. That's what we've done. Again, Case Farm, go with the red. It's totally cool. Now, the light options. This is something I would have never even thought to do. You have two bottom lights, two front lights, or four lighting spots. So all of them being filled up. And design, you've got beacon light or no beacon light in the very back. And it's one of the lower profile LED versions as well. It's not the big halogen versions. So this is kind of the setup that I've got going on. It's gonna cost you $9,425. So everything decked out. So let's jump in and let's see how you use this. I'm gonna turn my help window on just so you guys can see and play along at home back up to it and hook up. You will need a tractor or something like that to hook up to it. So the first thing that you would think is to say, oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna unfold it. All that's gonna do is lower the legs down and turn it on. So you can do that first, but you don't have to. Let's go ahead, we're gonna do that first. So it's gonna do that, it's gonna lower the back down, and then, there we go. <laughs> it turns the lights on, took a second. But now you look at this going, uh, well, I, I unfolded it. Shouldn't it go up? Well, what you need to do is press L1 and R1 or left bumper and right bumper together if you're on a console. And you want to raise it up. And just keep holding it down. Now, when you get to certain points, it will start to wobble a little bit. This is something that I noticed uh, at uh, when I was using it in the middle. However, right here, it has not done that. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So now we've got this raised up. We can also take this and we can move it all around, but we can only move it to the left, which is kind of odd. So we can move it and move it and move it and move it. And it's gonna bring it back here. So we've got a full 360 degree motion of this that we can turn it around. However, it will not turn around back on itself. Just keep that in mind as well. Now. Let's say I've got stuff on both sides. DJ, I don't want to have to buy two of these. No problem. You have full independent control over both sides. So I've got the left side turning right now. Full 100, no, nope, no, nope, nah. 360 degree motion on this. How cool is that? It's the same on both sides. Not only do I have full control of the motion, I can tilt it as well. I could take this, I can point that light wherever I need it, wherever I want it. So if I need that over there, that's my L1 or my left bumper. What about the right side? Do the other right bumper. The controls are so simple. I'm freaking out about a, a floodlight right now, but this is this is the way mod should be made. I made this E-T-A-L-A uh, Marchois. I hope I'm saying that right. 
Th this is the way you make a mod. This, it does exactly what you think it would do. How cool is that? That's awesome. That, boom, right there. Best mod of the year. DJ Goham's calling it. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. It's an amazing mod. Let me know if you're going to be using it. Next, we have the Kuhn GF6502. This is a tether and can be found in just there. Go to tools, go to tethers. It's going to be right here, $8,000. Now, you can change this up. We can change the uh, the tines to kind of fling the grass around. You can change those from black to red to white. I really like the white. I think it looks good on here. Got that coon red with that white. Looks awesome. And that color is not going to cost you anything. Eight grand base price, regardless of what you do to it. Now, 20 horsepower, six and a half meters. Let's take a look at some other stuff in here that's about the same size. Okay, 20 horsepower for that with a three point. We go over here to the Pottinger, 6.8 meters. However, requires 60 horsepower and it's $18,000. All right, starting to, see a, starting to see a trend here. Over here, the Vicon Fan X, 60 horsepower again, six meters. So more horsepower, smaller working width, and it's 11 grand. This just became the cheapest, best tether in the game. Now, of course, you can go with the Coon over here, or you can go with the Pottinger there. Honestly, I would just go with the Pottinger because you can fast farm with it. But nonetheless, if you guys are running small farms, there is no other option now other than to get this. There's none, none whatsoever. You thought this wasn't gonna be a cool mod. Look at that, it just broke the game. Our last new mod today is the Flegal Transport Box. Now. With the Flegal Transport Box, I believe this was the mod that was in testing about a week or two ago. It was just Transport Box or Transport Crate, something like that. We were a little confused about it, but I believe this is it. And guess what? It's inviting. Look, it opens up. That's cool. Look, I can drop it down. Uh-huh. And it's got tension belts. This is kind of a little all-in-one. It'll do just about anything. Let's take a look at this in the store. Where are you going to find this? Well tools then you're going to go over to miscellaneous and then it's going to be right in here right there right beside the milling machine boom click it got it main color you can change the color on this so you can go with a scratch look zinc look which may not be able to see a difference however now you can see one you got that flegal red you got a darker red orange green or kind of that petrol look green two a blue which is very vibrant and beautiful and then you've got a gray and a black. I think the gray or the white looks the best. If you're not going with a color option, pass that point. Go wild. We got two different options here. We finally got another implement that uses the triangle. So if you are using the triangle, hey, this will work with it. But if you're not, just go with a three point because guess what? The triangle goes on the front of a three point and there's nothing that is proprietary to that. There's options for everything. Just do what you want to do. It doesn't really matter. I prefer the three point because I can just take it off and there's nothing on the tractor left. Those are your two options. And again, all customization options are free. $2,500 for this. And that's it. It's very straightforward. The thing that I was kind of hoping is maybe this would hold stuff. Like it would hold uh, grain. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it actually can hold grain in it so if you guys can get that to work maybe let me know down in the comment section below but i don't think it'll work like a bucket it'll just do normal and for our pc friends out there we've got an update to the liar bell trailer pack so this pack consists of three liar bell trailers of seven meters which is shown in front of you nine meters and 12 meters and the change log is 1.0.0.1 new normal map so if your map on this trailer was going crazy it is now new and very normal. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not even, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. If you got any ideas or maybe there's a mod out there that you're wanting me to do a little bit more of an in-depth review on, let me know. I'm happy to help you guys out. Just drop it down in the comment section below. But with all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.